Welcome back everybody. Hopefully everyone's having a great weekend. So I'm just going to get this video started right off the bat. It is going to be the Red Series Part 3, Part A. So in this Red Series uh, topic, we're going to be discussing Netflix's Cuties. <sighs> so freaking... Mm. It was, this is not that video, so in this video, uh, I just sat down to watch the movie in its entirety. Uh, it was one of the hardest movies I actually ever had to sit through. And I've watched some hard to watch uh, movies and this is definitely, definitely very hard. Yeah. So in this movie, in this video, I'm just going to be reading to you guys a scene by scene description of wh what happens uh, throughout the entirety of the movie. That way, uh, it's not a movie that everybody could sit down and watch. It is an extremely difficult movie to watch. I do not recommend for everybody to watch it, but if you are going to talk about the movie, anything that you will talk about, you have got to get the experience. You have to know what you are talking about. Just like when you're going to war, you want to make sure that you bring in plenty of ammunition because it's going to be a freaking bloodbath in a war zone. If we are going to shut that shit down, no exceptions. So here we go. Cuties, 10 freaking mother loving pages of the movie. So the movie starts off with Ami. Ami is the protagonist of the movie. So the movie starts off with Ami in tears. And then it fades into the opening scene. So this is 10 pages. So Ami dons a head covering to go to mosque because she is Muslim. There in a mosque, praying focus is on Ami questioning her surroundings and poverty. A woman is talking about subservi female subservience to men and how there will be more women in hell than men. Camera cuts to an uncovered little girl not wearing her uh, head uh, covering and she is barefoot. That is very symbolic if you know anything about uh, uh, Islam. Ami then steals something she found on the ground, beads. She then watches a girl dance to Latin music in the laundromat. Cut to school. Uh, cut to school day. Kids play in the frozen. Uh, play the the game Frozen. You know where you're just immobile. And then her mother tells people by force that her husband has taken a second wife, as is common in some uh, uh, religions, uh, such as uh, Islam and as well as uh, Mormons. She breaks down and she wishes them well. So the mom's telling everybody that her husband remarried, well, not remarried, took a second wife. And part of the tradition is that you have to be accepting of this and you have to wish the newlyweds well and love. You can't be angry at them because you are sharing husband. Okay. Cut to she is in a car helping somebody, uh, helping an older uh, boy. He's, I think, in his uh, early, uh, well, in his, in, as 20 years old, let's say, a tween for sure. So she steals a phone from a boy she is helping. And then Amy gets bullied by the girls when she goes to school. So she takes her first selfie and gets a like right away. She is happy. The girls are watching. Then she meets up with the other girls that originally bullied her. Uh, they are watching uh, Prawn and Laughing. She is then asked by the girls to take a picture of one of the boys peeing and she does as they all disappear leaving her alone 
confronted by the boy that she was just taking a video of him peeing in the school's washroom, the boys' room. Amy and the girl with glasses, uh, the, the Spanish one, the Latin one, uh, break into a a locked a locked room. Both are barefoot and playing on the bed. Oh, yeah, in the beginning of the movie, the, the mother uh, opens the door to a uh, locked uh, room. So the girls go and they play in there, uh, both of them uh, barefoot on the bed. And then there's an obvious down blouse scene where both girls' cleavage, whatever cleavage they have, which is nothing, can be seen. It's but It lasts for a couple seconds, but it is... Uh, very noticeable. All right, then the girl with the glasses, the Spanish one, uh, puts on a dance video where there's teenage girls that are dancing. These are competition for the contest that's going to be upcoming. And one of the girls flashes her breast. Again, this is a teenage girl. Not an 18-year-old girl, but a teenage girl. I think she's at least like 14, 16 years old because she does go to the same school that the 11-year-old girls go to. And then the girls focus on all the likes that video is getting. So far, we are 20 minute, 28 minutes into the movie. Movie's not that bad so far. It's, trust me when I say it's not that bad so far in comparison. So there's two minutes of dancing. Uh, Amy practices dancing. And then, uh, sorry, Amy watch, uh, practices dancing, then watches a much more provocative, scandalous dancing video. Uh, uh, it, apparently this is the scene where she was also t uh, touching herself, but I did not see that. But this is the scene where people are saying that's what uh, she, uh, she did because she did have, she was breathing hard and whatever. Uh, right, so then she starts obsessing over women's butts because all the women in the video that she was watching had voluptuous, curvaceous butts. And she did not. She's a kid, she's got nothing, as she was teased with by the other girls. So her mother is on the phone with the father, uh, realizing the big room is for the wife number two. Amy rightly loses respect for her father and throws the phone out the window without even talking to him. So there's older boys that hit on the uh, on the, the four girls and the boys ask for their ages and Amy says 11 while the rest of the girls say they are 14. They are not. And then, scold, uh, then they scold her for saying that she was 11 years old. They teach her uh, to say she is older. Grooming. So one of the girls finds a used condom on the ground in the forest and proceeds to blow up the large condom. And then they all scold her for it, but apparently the girl did not know what a condom was. So that's the second black girl in the, uh, the group. I didn't learn all the names of the uh, the characters. Uh, I just focused on uh, Amy. Uh, Amy. They all play uh, chat roulette with a teen boy, and then a big shaming fight happens when one of the when the one of the girls, uh, the bigger girl, uh, accidentally turns on the camera and exposes all of them to the uh, the boy that asked them what. The, uh, to take off the uh, the tops, and then they retaliate against the girl that did it by kicking her out of the group, and the group is called Cuties. So now Amy takes her place. Don't forget the name Amy means friend in French. Amy, mon ami. All right. The girl with the so then the girl with the glasses watches Amy dancing and she's she's impressed but not convinced that the, the, gr the other girls will let her uh, join the uh, the group. That is until Amy decides to start writhing and starts twerking and goes on all fours on the ground 
pretty much humping the floor. The girl with the glasses, having never seen anything like that, is extremely impressed. And the scene lasts for about a minute and a half, almost two minutes. Very, very disturbing. So then it cuts to Amy teaching the three girls how to twerk, how to shake their butts, and how to use their bodies in provocative manners. There's lots of ass touching, slapping, poking, uh, tongue wagging, breast touching, and the scene closes with the girl with the glasses, uh, falls on top of all the other girls, her legs completely open, wearing extremely short shorts, where you can see the tendons and the outline of the muscles around the vagina and you can clearly freaking see all that and it lasts long enough for you to take notice and it's freaking uncomfortable that is like i said before the movie was okay until this scene over here that's where the movie derails and derails big time it escalates and there's no ceiling to the escalation All right, so then we cut to Amy is taught by her grandma. Apparently, it turns out to be her uh, one of her aunties. Uh, we find out the, by the end of the movie, but I thought it was her grandmother. So Amy is taught how to be a traditional woman by learning how to cook, starting with her father's food for the second wedding. And it's going to take a few days to prepare all the food. So then... It cuts to her in her room with the dress that her mother bought her to wear at the, the, the wedding. And then the flowers in the blue dress start to bleed, symbolizing uh, her getting her first period, becoming a woman. That part they use symbolism, but everything else is blatant sexuality, like in your face. I don't get it. So she misses the audition for the contest because of her womanly duties imposed on her by her uh, auntie, the old, uh, the old woman. And then when she gets confronted by the old woman, she starts laughing because she realized she sees that uh, Amy just got her first period and she's laughing at her as the camera pans down and all symbolism is lost. We now just see a crotch full of blood as blood runs down Amy's thigh. Why have symbol symbolism when you're just going to show us the full thing right in the next uh, scene a minute later? So her auntie tells her of her engagement and her wedding in her first uh, period to comfort Amy. So Amy sits on her bed afterwards when they separate. So Amy, Amy sits on her bed uh, with her legs wide open. She's wearing pants, but they're rather tights, and she's looking down at her... Uh, yep. I'm trying to avoid saying certain words because I don't know how what triggers the, uh, the YouTube algorithm or not. So the girls confront Amy about missing the audition. And then they all break into a laser tag room, and they are confronted now this is where things start getting even worse. So then they get confronted by the security guard and he asks them for their phone numbers so he can call them, uh, so he can call their parents to let them know that they broke into a place. And then one of the girls gets a message telling them, that, letting them know that they passed the audition and they're going to be finalists in the contest, the dance-off. And then... A second man walks into the room, this guy, shady looking, dirty looking, and uh, he asks what's going on, so the first guy tells, uh, tells him that the, the girls broke in, and then the girls start explaining that they, were just ex they just got accepted in the contest, and they are dancers, so they don't believe them, and then Amy's like, I'll prove that we're, the, we're dancers, so she starts Dancing in the same manner that she was dancing in front of her friend in the uh, the uh, the room. So on all fours, twerking, writhing, and things like that. Now, the first guy, the first the first man, security guard is appalled. 
Meanwhile, the second guy is looking at the, the other girl, uh, the Ami dancing and twerking, clearly into it and clearly aroused as he has that creepy, creepy ass smile on his face. So he lets them go and uh, he gets called out for his appalling behavior by the first guard. Now we are 59, 59 minutes in to the one hour mark. The girls are clearly dancing and then the, the scene starts with the, uh, the girls setting up their camera and the girls are clearly dancing for the viewers, us, me, you, watching uh, the, the movie. Uh, so the dancing is another level of scandalous and provocative uh, behavior. Uh, worse than the first one and then there's lots of open legs uh, crotch shots close-ups of their butts uh, the girls being uh, bent over on all fours winking at the, the camera and they're clearly looking into our eyes while they're doing this as if it was an actual uh, music video and then Amy and her brother are eating breakfast and when pouring cereal, her brother asks her, as he usually does, Ami, how many do I get? Referring to uh, cereal uh, pebbles. And then she replies without even looking at him, whatever, I don't care. She is obsessed with her cell phone, watching the, the likes and the views uh, increase for her uh, twerking video, for the girl's twerking video. And then the brother just pours the entire box of cereal, uh, since she no longer has any guidance from his older sister. So she is glued to her phone and walks away as he is counting the cereal pieces he just poured and then just starts grabbing handfuls and throwing into the, uh, the bowl. So Amy walks into school, uh, hot-headed, haughty and self-absorbed in a crop top, tied up and walking, in, uh, walking and looking at the camera, at us. Uh, looking like a woman. She arrogantly brushes off a compliment f uh, and flirt from one of the older boys. She looks years, years, years older and dressed in clothing that her household would never allow. So we have no idea at that point where the clothing is coming from. So an older teen throw uh, throws a can at Amy. She is from a uh, rival dance team. So Amy then rushes the teen and grabs her hair and throws her, the older girl, to the ground. Uh, the other rival girls uh, grabs Amy and completely, while throwing uh, Amy's on the floor, uh, chest down, face down, pulls her pants down. You can clearly see Amy, uh, Amy's uh, but in her underwear, both cheeks completely exposed and the scene lasts way too long, longer than it should ever have been legally allowed. And then the scene cuts to her counting her money yeah, that she was uh, saving, uh, saving up and she takes the girls shopping at Tessie. And I think Tessie is a lingerie store. Uh, based on all the bras and underwear the girls are throwing uh, uh, and tossing into the air from uh, the, uh, their shopping bags. And then meanwhile, the, Amy's little brother is left behind, picking up all the items, all the bras and panties that the girls uh, discarded uh, carelessly. So now we are one hour, four minutes into the movie. Amy looks innocently at the camera. And then... A second later. Hey Google, stop. We are one hour, four minutes in. So Amy looks innocently at the camera and then a moment later gives us a seductive look and then sticks her finger in her mouth with her head slightly tilted back. You know, that classic uh, pin up model pose. And then followed by every other girl in the foursome. Meanwhile, we have opera playing in the background to make it more artistic and more impactful. 
So then we cut to her mother confronting her literal uh, brother on how he got an expensive toy like the drone that he's playing with. So Amy rushes into the room and tries to get her brother to lie and tell, tell, to tell the mother that a stranger gave it to them in the, uh, the park. So the little brother tells the truth, says that Amy bought the toy for her and she also bought a bunch of cool presents for her friends. The next scene, they're at the dinner table. And the mother is putting the food on the table and Amy is serving her, uh, her brother food so he can eat. And then from all the stress that the mother was under with the second uh, marriage, uh, this, for the, with the second wife, for her husband, and all the stress that her mother and family have been uh, putting on her, she collapses on the other uh, floor. The brother runs to comfort the mother. Meanwhile, Amy is left unfazed. So, next scene. So, she is caught by the 20-year-old looking man who is uh, who she stole the cell phone from originally. And he asks for it back. And he forces it out of her hand. So, she tries to defuse the situation by trying to seduce the man. So she unbuttons her shirt, takes it off, exposing her uh, crop top. Belly exposed, top of her chest showing. And he's asking her what, it, what, the, what the hell she's doing. And then she moves further down, starts unbuttoning her pants, goes to pull them down. And at that point, the man realizes, holy crap, what the freak is going on? Pushes her against the, the wall, grabs the cell phone away from her, turns his back to her, and then Ami attacks him, bites him on the arm, steals the phone back, runs to the bathroom, locks the door behind her, and then she proceeds to pull down her pants, and you could clearly see her pants being pulled down, and her underwear being pulled down. You can actually see it, but you don't see her private parts. Uh, she is seated, so the camera cuts off that, uh, that part with the angle they're using. So she takes a picture of her privates and then she uploads it to her social media. And then at that point she opens the door and slides the phone out of the bathroom to give it back to the man. So the guy leaves. So the next day in class she is called up by the teacher to the blackboard to answer a question. And then one of the boys, as she's walking, slaps her upside the butt. She freaks out. He calls her the S-word. And then tells the class that she uploaded her privates to the internet for the world to see. So then Amy gets, uh, gets angry, telling him to stop talking. And because he's not stopping, she grabs a pen and stabs him right on the hand. So then it gets cut right away afterwards. She's back at home and her mother is slapping her. She's hitting her over and over, yelling at her, asking her, who, who, who is this person? Who, who is she? Who is she? And she's not her daughter and things like this. And then her auntie... interrupts and they decide to have an exorcism because Amy is possessed by sexual demons and that's why she's on the ground twerking and showing her butt and everything to the world. So they're tossing holy water at her so her, she, she has her eyes closed and then all of a sudden like her she starts uh, twitching and then the camera cuts to her butt so you see her butt twitch and then she starts gyrating her uh, her hips as her mother and her aunt are throwing water, holy water at her. She drops to the floor. Don't forget, she is at this point in her undershirt and her underwear. So she drops to the floor and her underwear is pretty short. So you can see the lower part of her uh, butt completely exposed. So she drops to the floor starts twerking, starts gyrating and everything on the ground. 
while she's getting soaked by the, the holy water. And she is taking all this in in act of defiance. So then we get cu we cut to her friends confronting her about the naked pictures, and then Amy says that they have to show them that they are not little girls, and then the girls are now being asked to strip, and as well since Amy stripped on camera, the other girls are being asked to do the same by their followers and they don't like that and they don't want to do it. So they, uh, so they eventually kick Amy out of the group after having a, a big fight with one of the, the, uh, the other uh, girls, uh, the one with uh, the acne, and then they all walk away. And then they cut two. Another attempt to exercise her is made, but this time through prayer. They bring in a priest so he puts his hand on his uh, on Amy's head does a prayer and then he walks away he goes to the mother and the aunt telling them that the girl is not possessed uh, she is just under a lot of stress and pressure it could have something to do with the second marriage and she's not happy with it so the priest leaves cut to the next scene the big girl is welcomed back to the group since Amy was kicked out uh, and then the scene with the wife number two makes her first appearance. Amy leaves home and we see where she was hiding her revealing clothing. So the final chapter starts. And we are at the last 15 minutes of the movie. I'm on page eight. So Amy followed the big girl that was welcomed back to the group. To, the, to appear and then she rushes the girl and pushes her into the water where she watches her almost drowned if it wasn't for a buoy that she was able to swim to uh, safety and then Amy leaves her be so then the other girls are at the dance contest so with little Knowledge of no knowledge of what just happened with the other girl. I think her name was Yasmin, actually. Uh, so the the girls are being called to stage. So they have no choice but to welcome Amy back into the group. And now we are at the big finish, the crescendo of the movie, the outrage where shit hits the fan with the. Uh, the dancing and let's just say if anybody has watched the Cardi B and Megan the Stallion video WAP wet ass P word <laughs> as Shapiro would put it uh, sorry to make the joke uh, yeah that video is actually tamer by comparison to what the girls do in the closing scene of the uh, the closing dance routine of the movie uh, so, fair warning, so lots of half butt cheeks exposed shots of the girls uh, bent over uh, on all fours, uh, lots of scenes where the, the girls are spreading their legs uh, uh, on all fours, simulated vagina opening uh, with, uh, so there's a scene where uh, Amy bends over to the crowd. Uh, sticks her sorry for being so graphic but this is what happens in the movie so she uh, she bends over uh, but facing the uh, the audience puts her hands between her, uh, her legs and simulates the opening of her p word shapiro freak so yeah simulating the opening of her uh, of her vagina and then it finishes with uh, the girls simulating masturbation uh, on themselves on the uh, stage. So the act is uh, met with both boos and cheers, smiles and frowns. So it's very mixed, but you hear the booing is much more intense than the, uh, the cheering. Now, at the one hour, 26 minute mark, a Annie finally realizes what the hell she's doing and the damage that she has caused not only to herself 
but to her friends as well and other people that have watched her and her friends dance routines so she starts crying in an incredibly emotional scene that literally made me cry as well it was very very hard to watch it so she runs off the stage runs home confronted by her aunt her aunt sees her in the barely the barely strip of fabric covering her top and her uh, lower parts she gets called a whore by her aunt and all sorts of other things as she's arguing with Amy and then her mom see, hears what's going on uh, sees the expression the reaction on Amy's face clearly shocked about something but not about being called the whore by her aunt so she finally stands up for her daughter tells her aunt to leave her alone she's going to handle the situation so the mother clearly understands that her daughter Amy has learned a valuable lesson so they have a little heart to heart and then the mother tells her that she doesn't have to come to the wedding so the wedding is taking place the mother does her duties as a proud woman facing the music and Amy is walking out the scene dressed modestly this time and goes outside to play skip rope with the other uh, kids trying to regain her innocence so it finished the movie finishes with her skipping rope jumping making it look like she's jumping ever ever higher and higher with a big smile on her face happy that she learned a lesson so that is exactly scene for scene no exaggeration of what happens in the movie so this is not a reaction this is not a reaction video this was just me uh putting myself through the torture hey google stop putting myself through the torture of watching the movie so you guys don't have to but if you are going to talk about the movie and you don't want to watch it at least watch a video like mine of a person who actually did sit down to watch the movie uh, because there is it's it's a we're going to leave that for the the red series part three episode b so i'm working on some stuff for that one hopefully they uh, pan out uh so thank you very thank you very much everybody for watching this video i this this video i if you guys do comment i'm contemplating disabling the the comments but uh this video is not a take on the movie it's not a critique of the movie it's not a reaction it is strictly m me talking uh, talking what happens throughout the next movie so please refrain from uh, in the comments as much as possible talking about the, how you feel about the movie that we can we will definitely be doing in the comments of the next video so please refrain in the uh, the uh, in uh, the comments for this video uh, you can tell me what you thought of the video uh, my video but keep what you felt about the movie uh, to yourself until the second part of the video comes out where we will be in the war zone and we will shut that shit down no fucking exceptions no exceptions no fucking fucking exceptions Thank you very much everybody for watching hit that like button hit that subscribe button let's get to the 1000 mark jigger video out stay safe stay strong we will be